Hi there, I'm Elias Sipka, and this is a Petrus Review. On this episode, we take a look at the last Mill Creek Pure Terrors title for this year, and this one is The Telltale Heart, directed by Ernest Morris in the year 1960. It's a British film, and it was theatrically released in the UK on December 1960 and in the US on the 7th of February 1962. It was directed by Ernest Morris and written by Brian Clemens and Eldon Howard. And it was actually an adaptation of a Edgar Allan Poe story. In fact, it's probably the most, most famous story. Now, it stars Lawrence Payne, Adrian Corey, and Dermot Walsh. Now, this was yet another public domain horror film released onto the Mill Creek Pure Terrace set, which is in fairly rough condition, probably taken off an old film reel from the looks of it. And such makes you wish there was a nicely done proper DVD release of this film. As it stands, there is a British DVD out there that is uncut, so you best do your homework and track it down. Now, at a time when the British were emerging onto the golden age of British horror with Hammer Films running the box office, and the Americans making Edgar Allan Poe adaptations thanks to Roger Corman, a small British film, shot on a cheap and in monochrome, in other words black and white, appeared on the scene. This film was a telltale heart that was produced by the Danzingers, a pair of brothers that operated a cheap film studio in Britain during the 1950s and 60s, and from a script written by Brian Clements. Also, the Danzingers have made a couple of genre films as well, and one of them is Devil Girl from the Mars, I think it was called. It's an alien invasion from, from 1950, early 50s, and I'll review that some time in the future, anyway. Now, the original story, The Telltale Heart, by Edgar Allan Poe, was a typical Poe story, but had become one of his most famous works. The original story concerned a man who had murdered an old man simply because he hated an old man's eyes. But the protagonist was driven mad by his guilty conscience, as he believed the old man's heart was still beating and this drove him insane to the point that he willingly confessed his crime to the investigating police in the room. I remember reading the story back when I was in primary school, I think around 5th grade. Now as for this cheaper adaptation, well it's okay by typical Poe adaptation standards. No match for the Corman films, this film at least sports some cool gore for 1960. A man getting slashed by a sword and the protagonist cutting out the, old ma the man's heart and holding it in his hands, which would have gotten the audience pretty shocked at the time. In fact, the BBC gave this film an X rating on its theatrical release. There is also a bit of risque footage where the protagonist peeps in the women undressing and looks at some dirty pictures. The story here has been elaborated further than what Poe did with his original story. The plot now has the protagonist finally getting a girlfriend who goes to his best friend instead, sleeping with him with the, while the protagonist decides to kill the friend over the, the perceived portrayal, and despite burying him under the floorboards of the house, can still hear the heart beating. So he does the next logical thing and cuts the heart out of the victim and buries it in the local park yet he can still hear the bloody thing beating. This drives him bonkers to the point he gets himself impaled on the railing, only to wake up and realize it was all a dream and his friends a lot, only to find the dream girlfriend moving into town. Like I said, this ain't that great, but at least for an old cheaper adaptation on the original post story, it's pretty fair. And to be honest, it, that story has been, it's been filmed so many times, like at least 30 times, but most of them are like short stories, short films. This is one of the few future length adaptations of the work. There are a couple of good scenes to stick out in the memory. The first is a scene where the protagonist is dancing with his girlfriend and fails to notice that her eyes are stuck staring at his best friend seeing nearby. The second is where after killing his friend, he begins to hear noise all over the house from the tap to the clocks to the silverware, all keeping the same beat as a beating heart, driving him nuts. I'd best recommend this to Edgar Allan Poe enthusiasts who want to complete their collections, but in order to fully enjoy this film you need to be a fan of Poe's work. Now, The Telltale Heart gets a C plus 5 out of 10. It's a passable adaptation of the Edgar Allan Poe story. Now, for Gore and Nudity, damn, this one's pretty full on for 1960. There's quite a bit of blood with the gory killing and the heart cut out of the victim's body. As for Nudity, the nude pictures the protagonist looks at in his downtime have boobs on show. There might be more nudity in the uncut version, but I'm not sure about that. Um, I, mean, I don't have the uncut version. It's only the Mill Creek Pure Terror one that's it's missing it. I think like 45 seconds of footage apparently, I'm not sure precisely, but so I heard. But there is a British DVD of the uncut version available, so get that. Okay, that's the last Pure Terror title I'm reviewing for this year. We've got a couple more horror films coming up for this year, but mostly it's going to be action, and a, and a couple of video games. <laughs> Can't wait to see what those ones will be. <laughs> okay, hope you guys enjoyed that. The Telltale Heart gets a C+, 5 out of 10, it's passable. Now, I do not do requests, but if you have any questions about DVDs or films, just hit me up in the comment section, I'll be happy to answer. Hope you guys are staying safe, take it easy, and that's the first review. See ya.